Dave Kleidemacher. I lead Android security here at Google. And today I'll be answering some questions about our platform and how it's evolving. Okay, here's our first question. Android recently turned 10 years old. How has working on a mobile platform affected Google's security outlook? So there are now over 2 billion users of Android. And mobile devices are the primary way we all interact with our digital lives. At Google, we really take very seriously the huge responsibility of protecting the safety and well-being of users. Security has been what we call it at Google a P0, really our top priority. And it's a very challenging problem because of the asymmetry of attack and defense. You have attackers can find, need only find one pathway through, whereas defenders, we have to defend every layer of the stack. We have to consider every possible attack vector. And so we look for ways to have our own asymmetries in reverse. For example, we're looking a lot at how do we leverage secure hardware? Because secure hardware can render impotent whole classes of attacks, software attacks, side channel attacks, and so forth. Pixels and another really important thing that has enabled us to do better for Android security. By building our own device, we understand all the layers of the stack and we raise the bar for all the ecosystem by setting higher standards and understanding the challenges that all of our partner device manufacturers face. Another really important principle that we've learned over the years is the, the criticality of transparency. So it's not just about the technology, it's about being open. It's about fostering an ecosystem of sharing information, sharing intelligence, and working together as a community to share our threats, our best practices, and our learnings. And one example of that is our quarterly ecosystem report. We just published that. It used to be that we would publish our important malware statistics and other important metrics annually. And with the ecosystem report, we now have a quarterly report. And so that's just one of many examples of Android and its ethos of being open, the power of open. Do you believe Project Treble has resulted in noticeable progress? Absolutely. With Android 9, for the first time, seven device manufacturers released their first versions of Android 9 concurrently with Google's own devices. That has never happened before. That Treble interface allows for much more flexibility in updating either AOSP or the device-specific parts. But actually, Treble is only one part of a multi-pronged, multi-year strategy to make Android operating system simply easier to update. And it's not just updates to major versions, it's also our security updates, which we worked really hard to make them easier to distribute also for OEMs. So for example, we've actually made security patching built into our OEM agreements. We now have over 250 different Android device models with a recent security patch. What this translates to is choice, a secure choice for users, regardless of whether you're buying a premium device or a low cost device anywhere in the world. How do you balance new security measures with the Android community's desire to tinker with their devices? Is the pro community taken into consideration as new features are planned? At Google, we've always embraced and cherished our tinkerers that the hobbyist community is part of Android ethos from day one. Other operating systems take a more locked down approach to things, ostensibly for security. But as it turns out on Android, you can have that fun at the same time as great security. For example, on the Pixel, it is now receiving the highest ratings for security from independent analysts. It's achieving the best results in the elite hacking contests. So it is the North Star for mobile security today. But tinkerers can go ahead and unlock the bootloader, install a custom ROM, have fun with the device. While we encourage our community of tinkerers to go ahead and do those things, we still caution and educate our users about the unintended security trade-offs that can result from modifying the production OS. Android 9 brought a fair number of security enhancements to the platform. Any hints as to what sorts of improvements or themes might be on the way for 2019? Those enhancements really covered four major areas. Privacy, leveraging secure hardware, hardening the operating system, and Google Play Protect. And we're gonna double down on those themes in 2019. So for example, with privacy, we're always looking for ways to improve the Android APIs, to sharpen them, to reduce the 
opportunities for abuse and to help users manage their data better. So we're going to probably make more of those changes than we have before. It's really difficult work because we care deeply about application compatibility, ensuring developers' applications continue to work as well as they have in the past. On the secure hardware side, continue to look at new and emerging use cases for leveraging secure hardware for emerging applications in the area of digital identity, identification, and authentication. On the operating system hardening, it's all about ensuring that a bug does not translate into an exploit. So control flow integrity protection, lots of hardening mechanisms and anti-exploitation mechanisms like that will continue to build upon in the next version of Android. And finally, Google Play Protect. It's been an enormous investment for many years now. Continue to invest in both the technology for detecting malware and other threats, but also about making the user interface for Play Protect more of the central control panel for users. We want to help users understand their security posture better. So it's all about transparency and enabling users to get into a better state for safety and security. Thanks for listening. I hope those answers were helpful. For more information, please check out android.com security.